If this fancy vaccine of yours is bullshit, you're dead. Get me? So much work to do. And do I get any thanks? Well, I do. But I could use more. Lou chewed me out real good over letting you know where he was. He's got a real anger streak in him sometimes. You think after everything we've been through, he could learn a thing or two about forgiveness. It may be he takes things out on me because he thinks I'll always be here for him. But we both know with his longevity that won't always be the case. God help him. Did I? You think I brought hell itself down on that man? I only ever look out for him. I guess I ought to get back to work. At least I can distract myself with the endless amount of improvements and repairs that need to get done. Why does no one listen to Gale? So many humans around makes head hurt. Gale needs help. No time to waste making talks with newbies. Go away, stupid human! Good thing, too. We should be long dead in one of those scorched things stuck with Marty. Okay. Wait! You want to help Gale? For real? This is good! You will help Gale find her! Rara! Gale's little Rara is in danger! Rara is precious, little human girl. Gale met Rara years ago. Rara was alone. Gale was alone. Now Rara and Gale are together. Rara, take care of Gale. Gale, take care of Rara. Rara is what matters most to Gale. Under big building. Rara, go up rocks, into pipe, and don't come out. Gale can't follow Rara. Pipe too small for Gale. But maybe you fit. Building full of machines. Don't know how, but Gail think it makes lots of steel. Gail and Rara was playing near the big dirty water place. We play hide and seek. I spy. Tag. Rara always bring her favorite toy. While we play, something steal Rara's toy, so Rara chases it. I chase Rara, but thing run up rocks and into pipe. So does Rara. Now Rara don't come back out. So did something bad happen to Rara? Gail would be so sad and so mad if something bad happened to Rara. Gail not sure what you mean. Is this some stupid human question? Or are you somehow making fun of Gale's smarts? <laughs> Either way, question is a waste of time. And Gale has big, strong, crushing arms. That good answer for you? Rara went into pipe at Big Steel Place, but Gale too big. So Gale need you to go after Rara. Gale waited and called to Rara, but Rara did not come back, so Gale is worried. Gale come back for help to get human to go in pipe to get Rara, but no one listened to Gale until you. Now you go to pipe and go get Rara out. Easy for someone small and weak like you. Good. One more thing. If you be nice to Rara and she likes you, she will be good and helpful. If she don't like you, she make things hard for you. Rara loves Gale, so life is easy. You are stranger though, so keep in mind. Now go! Hurry! 
No time to wander wasteland, doing stupid things while little child is in trouble. You find Rara yet? You better not have bad news, or it be bad news for you. Go to big building where steel made, near yucky bad water. Under building near rocks, there is pipe. Rara went in pipe, did not come out. You go in, see if she's stuck or maybe in danger. You save Rara and Gale will love you forever. Hurry up, stupid human! Uh, Gale, sorry. Not mean to call you stupid. Gale just angry at self. You want to survive, you do what you gotta do. Stomach's feeling pretty bad from that drink. I wonder if...
Does anybody in this goddamn place understand the concept? Loyal to the gang, huh? You wanna prove it? Good. You didn't look like a leech. Not everybody's loyal, you see. Some people take all they can from us. They use us. Then they leave us to rot. It's not right. We aren't a charity. We expect contributions in kind. You know? It's not a complex system here. So, you in? Good. You're not a flake. I'm impressed. I had a hunter follow the trail earlier, so I think these directions will get you close enough. If you only find a corpse, well, that's fine. Maybe the others got there first. I just want to know that it's done.
identify intruder detected. <coughs> Beginning search. that was talking to Meg. Did you kill the Robos? I couldn't get out because the Robos wanted to kill me. Did you kill them? Huh? But you killed them, right? I heard shooting, and you're not dead, and you're here, so you must have killed them. Where's Gail? Why didn't Gail kill the Robos and come get me? Why didn't Gail come for me? Why did she send you? You're not big and strong like Gail. You look like... boring and weak. Oh, okay. But Gail would help me find Bonabon first. Are you gonna do that too? I'm not gonna leave until I find Bonabon! There's more Robos and I can't do it myself! I tried! But then the Robos got mad and tried to get me! Bunna Bun is my favorite toy. He's a fun bun and he goes hop, 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 hop. I love him so much. He goes everywhere with me. I found him when it was just me. And then it was me and Gail and Bunna Bun and we all played and had fun. I don't know. The big, dumb, ugly, stupid, dumb animal took him. It went through a door, but then the door closed and I couldn't get in. And then there were Robos. We have to follow it and get Bunna Bun back and then maybe kill more Robos and then kill the animal in its big, dumb, stupid face. Easy peasy, right? No! Bunna Bun is the only one. Meg told me a story. There used to be places where you could get any kind of toy you want, but they're all gone since the world got blowed up. But even if there were toy places, none of them would have Bunna Bun. He's special! I don't know. Are you sure you can do it? Gail is big and nice and great and strong and you're... You. Yay! I knew you'd help. I'm coming to save you, Bunna Bun. We're gonna find my Bunna Bun. Maybe we'll also find a gun. We'll kill some robos. Shoot, shoot, shoot! And don't eat stuff that makes you too. <laughs> What's wrong? 
Why can't we just go in the door? Is it locked forever? Hmm. Oh, what if I go through that vent over there and go into the room? I did that before once, not here, in other places. Except this one time I did it and the vent fell when I was crawling in it and everyone thought I was hurt, but I wasn't. You worry too much. Dangerous is my middle name. Actually, I don't know what my middle name is, so now it's dangerous. Now I just need a last name.
location is requested.
hope it's something tasty. talk to nobody, and that's boring. in there, so I think I'm going the right way. It was really stinky, though, so I needed some fresh air. I'll go back in there to keep looking for Bunna Bun the Bun Bun if you keep looking out here. Uh, can I? You don't have to ask me a billion times. You're helping me with what I want, so I can help you get stuff you want, too. Bun a bun.
intrusion detected in Sector Bravo. Engaging automated turret defense system.
really. If you tell Gail, just say I had fun, okay? Me too! Thanks for killing the shooty things and helping me get out of there. Oh, so there was an old skeleton in the vents? He had a key and a piece of paper with something on it. Take a look. I'm gonna get back inside and try to find my bun bun, though. Bye!
Then you got Bunna Bunna, now we can go back and see Gale. I like the part where the Robo got all mad and was shooting everywhere, even though it was scary. And the part where he went all kaboom and blew up! I don't know. I just picked it up along the way. There was a lot of weird stuff in the vents. But now it's all gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! You're almost as nice as Gail. I hope you stay with us at the crater. You can even sleep with us in Gail's bed if you get scared at night. I don't know what that is, but okay. That sounds fun. But first I want to go home to Gail. So I'll see you there. Bye! I missed you, Bun-a-Bun. -a -bun. You're the best Bun-Bun. Better watch it. Gotta love getting stuff for free. Good thing those 
those settlers haven't learned that yet. Gail seems to be throwing a fit over there. You're gonna have to calm her down before she's gonna want to do anything for us. Well, hey, if it ain't 7-6. I heard all about what you did for Gail and Rara. Gail seemed pretty happy to see Rara. Still, I'm pissed no one around here would lift a finger for him, so... Guess I'm glad you came by. Well, some of them are just plain busy. But then lots of them don't like the idea of taking care of a kid. Many don't like big green mutant folk, understandably. But they ain't the leader around here. And I say those two are more useful than almost anyone else we got here. Besides, I got a soft spot for kids. So screw the haters. Oh, look at you, all humble and shit. Listen, it's a bigger deal than you think. That little girl just might be the only reason Gail's so chill and not trying to eat us like all the other super mutants out there. Glad you asked. The vault we're breaking into is gonna have a lot of security. The kind explosions and muscle ain't gonna help with. You wanna get by security or any other surprises? There's only one guy I trust to get the job done. Gentleman Johnny Two Guns Weston. Aha, oh, did I just say that? He just goes by Gentleman Johnny Weston now, since he decided it was too much of a mouthful. He used to call those guns pride and joy, because nothing gave him more pride or joy than using them to end some poor fool's life. As for the gentleman part, well, it ain't a lie. If he can charm me, he can charm anyone. Johnny believes there's a lot of power in the name. It sets certain expectations. My old raider boss, Margie, she used to think the same. That's why she called her gang the diehards. I think it's a load of shit, but hey, if it works for Johnny, it's cool with me. Johnny's a bit of a hotshot round here. Mr. Jack of all trades is real good at what he does, which is just about everything. Need a system hacked? Need someone dead discreetly? Infiltration's his game. The cat's a real master of disguise. A con man. And a charmer, for sure. That's how he got with us. Snuck right in, pretended to be someone he ain't. And just stuck. By the time we figured out his grift, I was so impressed I hired him aboard. So here's what's what. Johnny's the real deal. Best guy I got. I won't do this job without him. Think of him as an insurance policy. Thing is, on account of him being so critical to our success, he thinks he gets to do as he pleases. And to some degree, that's true. That being said, he can be fickle. If he doesn't want to do a job, well then Johnny doesn't do a job. Since you know what's at stake here better than I do, I want you to see if you can't convince him this is the right job for him, you dig? It's only because nothing can get to us. You ever see a Scorch or a Super Mutant take an elevator? They're too stupid. Yeah, if I know Johnny, he's gonna ask for a big cut of the prize. In my opinion, he's worth it, but maybe you can make him see eye to eye and keep his cut reasonable this time. Good luck, 7-6. Hey, you got vision problems? You're looking for Johnny, remember? And I know I don't look like a handsome white cat, so get on out of my face and get yourself on over to Johnny ASAP. The Is it daytime out, out there? You can lose track of time down here. I can't do nothing about it. That drink didn't make you invincible, you idiot. They can still kill you, you know. 